You are listening to Uranium Spotlight on Tuesday, January 28, 2025. Brought to you by PurePoint Uranium Group, your exploration partner in the most prolific areas of Canada's Athabasca Basin. With a collaborative investment model on district-scale projects and validation from industry leaders Cameco, Orano, and ISO Energy, PurePoint is investing in Canada's uranium future. And now your host, Chris Frostad. This week on Uranium Spotlight, Deep Seek AI rocks the markets. The NK mine reopens in Kazakhstan. Arano escalates its disputes in Niger, and PurePoint and ISO Energy release their 2025 plans. Last week, the spot price of uranium closed at $71.20, dropping $2.65 over the week. Activity started slow, with no deals reported last Monday, keeping prices flat. Tuesday saw some movement as three transactions pushed Cameco and Arano indicators slightly higher. By Wednesday, market sentiment shifted as offers slipped, dropping the daily spot price by 30 cents with no transactions confirmed. On Thursday, the price dipped again, falling 35 cents to $73.35, following two deals. Activity surged on Friday with six transactions booked as bids were hit, bringing the spot price down sharply to $71.20. Equity markets were rattled yesterday by negative AI news, and uranium wasn't immune. By midday, four spot transactions were confirmed, mostly below $70, with additional deals driving prices further down. In total, 21 spot transactions were completed since Tuesday, involving about 1.8 million pounds of U308. Nearly all called for prompt delivery, highlighting robust market activity despite declining prices. Utilities have shown interest in purchasing material below $70, signaling potential demand support at lower price levels. On the term market side, while formal utility requests have been quieter, off-market activity continues. Seven contracts involving 7.2 million pounds U308 have been awarded this year, with the UX long-term price increasing to $80 a pound, up a dollar for the month. As utilities look to secure fuel for 2029 to 2035, the term market is expected to see gradual activity growth in the months ahead. Markets fell sharply yesterday, with power sector stocks taking a significant hit following the announcement of a new Chinese AI chatbot called R1. Developed by Deep6, a Chinese lab, R1 reportedly uses far fewer semiconductor chips and relies on less advanced technology than its Western counterparts. This innovation emerged despite trade restrictions limiting China's access to cutting-edge AI hardware. Remarkably, R1 was developed on a modest $6 million budget, a stark contrast to the billions, sometimes even hundreds of billions, invested by leading U.S. companies in AI development. Among the stocks affected were major nuclear reactor operators, including Vistra Corporation, which manages eight reactors across four nuclear plants, and Constellation Energy Corporation, the largest nuclear power plant operator in the U.S., with 21 reactors. Companies focused on small modular reactors, such as New Scale Power, also experienced notable losses. SMR is a burgeoning technology in the nuclear industry, aimed to address challenges like high costs, lengthy construction timelines, and significant land requirements of traditional reactors. They've been touted as a potential solution for powering AI data centers, given the sector's immense energy demands. However, this assumption is now being questioned. The development of R1 highlights that AI systems may not require the massive computational resources previously anticipated, casting doubt on the scale of energy demand for future AI data centers. For some time, this podcast has maintained that AI data centers and their associated SMRs are unlikely to have a significant impact on uranium demand. This is largely due to the small quantities of uranium used by SMRs and the extended time frame needed to build and deploy them at scale. Today's news reinforces this perspective, challenging the narrative that AI-driven data center growth will cause a major surge in uranium prices. Compounding market uncertainty, major AI companies, including OpenAI, Oracle, and SoftBank, recently announced the ambitious Stargate project, a $500 billion initiative to build next-generation data centers. With Microsoft providing technical support, Stargate was initially seen as a boom for SMRs, potentially pairing nuclear reactors with data centers. However, Deep Six's ability to train R1 with a fraction of the resources raised questions about necessity and efficiency of such large-scale investments. While AI data centers may no longer represent a transformative driver for uranium prices, other factors remain compelling. 
The uranium market faces a fundamental supply deficit, producing roughly 30% less uranium than global consumption. This imbalance, coupled with increasing geopolitical tensions that have bifurcated the market, continues to create stress and volatility. Beyond supply constraints, the global push to combat climate change underscores the necessity of nuclear energy. To meet ambitious climate goals and support growing electricity demand from high-consumption sectors, all energy tools, including nuclear, will be essential. Additionally, rising prices for competing energy sources like natural gas, driven by geopolitical risks, further strengthen the long-term case for uranium and nuclear power. Kazanomprom and Kamiko have announced the reopening of their joint venture in Kazakhstan. The Inkame mine, which was shut down on January 1, 2025, due to delays in obtaining necessary permits, had sparked concerns about potential geopolitical risks in the uranium market. Some feared a scenario similar to the 2023 military seizure of Arano's mines in Niger following the coup there. However, today's announcement should ease those fears, as it now appears the issue was either an extraordinary administrative oversight by Kazanomprom or successful behind-the-scenes negotiations led by Cameco to expedite the reopening. In its fourth quarter 2024 report, Kazatomprom expressed uncertainty about the extent to which the temporary shutdown would impact its overall production for 2025. Cameco echoed this sentiment in a brief statement released earlier this week. While the return to production of Inke is positive news, it doesn't eliminate broader concerns. Ongoing geopolitical challenges in regions like Russia, Kazakhstan, Niger, and elsewhere continue to weigh on uranium markets. As nuclear energy increasingly represents both a critical source of electricity and a lever of political power, the volatility surrounding uranium remains a key consideration for investors. Yesterday, Arano escalated its dispute with Niger by filing for arbitration at the International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes, or the ICSID. The case centers on Arano's Somer uranium mine located in the Western African nation and follows months of tensions since Niger's military coup in July of 2023. Arano claims that the new regime has severely restricted its business operations, particularly its ability to export uranium to France, where the government holds a majority stake in Arano, or to its other international customers. This follows the September 23 seizure of Arano's Imoran project by Nigerian authorities, which also prompted our arbitration proceedings. In December, Arano issued a statement asserting that it had lost operational control of the Somer mine. According to the company, on-site contractors and employees were no longer adhering to management's directives. Earlier, Arano had announced plans to halt production at the mine to preserve funds for payroll, a move that was met with strong objections from Nigerian officials. The authorities proposed purchasing the mine's uranium instead, but no agreement materialized, and operations continued against Arano's wishes. Through the latest arbitration, Arano seeks either to regain control of the Somer mine or to obtain compensation for what it claims is an unlawful seizure. This case underscores the significant risk uranium companies face in geopolitically unstable regions, a reminder for investors of the complexity tied to supply chain and operational sovereignty. Purepoint Uranium is set to advance exploration in the Athabasca Basin through their recently established joint venture with ISO Energy. Covering 98,000 hectares, this partnership focuses on three significant projects, Dorado, Aurora, and the Celeste Block, backed by a $5 million budget for 2025. The Dorado project is the centerpiece of this program, strategically located along the Rock Trend, a conductive corridor hosting ISO Energy's world-renowned hurricane deposit the highest grade uranium discovery in recent years. The Lorac trend stretches across Dorado, connecting Turner Lake, Geiger, Edge, and Full Moon into a unified exploration initiative. Historical results at Geiger have already revealed high grade basement hosted uranium, including 2.74% U308 over 1.2 meters, while several promising zones remain untested. This year's plans include an ambitious 18 hole, 5,400 meter drill program targeting graphitic conductors wrapped around a granitic dome. Aurora and Celeste complement the program, with Aurora focusing on shallow uranium targets near McLean Lake and Rabbit Lake. Airborne geophysical surveys will further refine future drilling opportunities. Meanwhile, the Celeste Block's Madison property, just 14 kilometers from Cameco's Sand Lake deposit, offers potential for high-grade discoveries with four drill holes planned this year. 
Chris Frostad, PurePoint's president and CEO, emphasized Dorado's location along the Lorac trend adjacent to the hurricane deposit highlights its exceptional potential. While Dorado leads our 2025 efforts, work at Aurora and Celeste ensures a steady pipeline of future targets. PurePoint is proud to build on the Lorac trend's legacy, delivering exploration that aligns with its commitment to value creation. And that wraps up your Uranium Spotlight coverage for this week. For more news and events from the world of uranium, please tune in next week to Uranium Spotlight. You've been listening to Uranium Spotlight, your weekly podcast dedicated to delivering the latest news and events shaping the uranium fuel market and its critical role in the global energy landscape. Brought to you by PurePoint Uranium Group. PurePoint actively operates a portfolio of advanced uranium projects in the world's richest uranium district and has established partnerships with industry leaders. While our passion for this subject is undeniable, it's essential to clarify that the information presented here is not investment advice. Instead, our goal is to offer an unbiased and comprehensive review of recent events that could impact uranium prices. Join us again next Tuesday for Uranium Spotlight.